What's the use of law of indices? Indices are used in multiplying and dividing numbers raised to a power as well as using them in algebraic expressions. So what are the 10 laws of indices? In this video, I will show you some of the examples on how to use law of indices and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first law of indices. Before we start learning the 10 laws of indices, we need to know that indices are written by using the index notation, which is A, which is the base, and N, which is the index or power. So we can express a number in index form by using the following step. For example, 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3, okay, which is equal to 3 cubed. And then 64 is equal to 4 times 4 times 4, which is equal to 4 power 3. Okay, then if it's 125, is equal to 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. Okay, so to find the value of a number in index form, we can also use this way. For example, if they give you 2 power 4, okay, so find the value of 2 power 4 would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 16. So if it's 3 power 4, would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 which is equal to 81. What if it's 5 power 4? So 5 power 4 will be 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 625. There are 10 laws of indices that you need to know. For law number 1, is a power m times a power n is equal to a power m plus n, which means the product of the two numbers in index form, but with the same base, which is a and a, can be obtained by adding up the indices m plus n. Okay, so we get a power m plus n. Okay, I'll show you some examples. Let's say if it's 2 power 3 times 2 power 5, so we get 2 power 3 plus 5. Okay, so 3 plus 5 is 8, so the answer is 2 power 8. Let's try another one. Okay, let's say the question is 3x power 6 times 5x square. Okay, we break this up, we write down the numbers first. Okay, the coefficient 3 and 5, we can times together. So times x power 6 and x square. Okay, so 3 times 5 is 15 times, so x, we add up the power 6 plus 2. Okay, so the final answer is 15 x power 8. Okay, let's try one more, which is C. So p square q times p q power 4. Okay, so we put it here. So we arrange it according to the P and P. Okay, so P square times P. Okay, this is actually P power 1 and this is Q power 1. So I put 1 here. So times Q, okay, 1. Okay, it's from here. Times Q 4. So it's equals to, okay, so P 2 plus 1 is 3, okay? You just write it down first. So Q, 1 plus 4, which is 5, okay? So for the final answer, so P, Q, 
Q5. For law number 2, a power m divided by a power n is equal to a power m minus n, which means the quotient of the two numbers in index form with the same base a and a can be obtained by subtracting the indices of both numbers, which is m minus n. Okay, so I'll show you some examples. Okay, 3 power 10 divided by 3 power 6. Okay, this is a very easy example. So it's equals to Okay, we write down the same base, so 10 minus 6, so 10 minus 6, okay, show the working, so equals to, so 3, 10 minus 6 is 4, okay, so make sure that the base is the same before you can minus the indices, okay, i show you another one, so B, 25x power 12 divided by 5x power 6, okay, so it's equals to, so 25 divided by 5, so I put it over here, 25 over 5, okay? So x, 12, minus 6, so equals, so 25 divided by 5 is 5, okay? And x, 12 minus 6 is 6, okay? Let's try another one. So C, okay, say the question is P power 8, Q power 6 over P square Q. Okay, equals. So take note that Q means Q power 1. Okay? So P, we arrange it. So P, 8 on top, and then there's a 2 at the bottom, which means we minus. Okay? So 8 minus 2. Then Q, 6 minus 1. So 6 minus 1. Okay? So that's a times in the middle. So equals P. So 8 minus 2 is 6. And Q, 6 minus 1 is 5. For law number 3, A power M in bracket power n is equal to a power m n, which means that the numbers in index form raised to a power n can be simplified by multiplying its indices, so m times n, okay? So i show you some examples. So for a, 8 power 5 in bracket square. So it's equal to 8, 5 times 2 which is equal to 8 power 10. Okay, show you another one. B, 2x cubed, bracket, 4. Okay, so 2 power 4, and x, 3 times 4, which is equal to, so 2 power 4 is equal to 16, and x, 3 times 4 is 12, okay? Let's, let's do another one, which is C. So P power 6 over Q power 3, whole thing square, okay? So this one you have to be careful because the denominator Q cubed, eh? this one you need to times 2 as well, okay? Which means 6 times 2 and 3 times 2, okay? So P 6 times 2, over Q, 3 times 2, okay? Therefore, the answer is P power 12 over Q power 6. For law number 4, A, B in bracket, power M is equal to A power M and B power M, okay? For example, 2x cubed, okay, 2x the whole thing in bracket cube is equals to 2 cube and x cube. So equals 2 power 3 is equals to 8, so 8x cube, okay? Okay, let's look at another one, b. So in bracket, 9x square power half 
Okay, so 9 power half and x 2 times half. Okay, so it's equals to, so 9 power half means square root of 9 and x, so we can cancel it, so x power 1. So square root of 9 is 3 and x power 1 is x. Okay, let's look at another one, c. 27 y power 6 whole thing power 1 over 3 so it's equals 27 power 1 over 3 and y 6 times 1 over 3 so equals so 27 power 1 over 3 is cube root of 27 and y can simplify this to 2 so y square so cube root of 27 is equals to 3 and y square we just bring it down so that's the answer for law number 5 a power p times b power q whole thing power n is equals to a power p n times b power q n okay let's look at some examples 2 power 3 times 3 power 4 whole thing square okay, is equals to 2 power 3 times 2 times 3 power 4 times 2 so we get 2 power 6 times 3 power 8 okay let's try another one for b p square times q power 3 whole thing power 5 and it's equals to p power 2 times 5 times q power 3 times 5 so the answer is p power 10 and q power 15 let's try one more c 2 x square times 3 y whole thing cube so we get 2 power 3 x 2 times 3 times 3 power 3 y power 3 so 2 power 3 is 8 so x power 6 and then times 27 because 3 cube is 27 so y cube so equals to so 8 times 27 is 216 and then x power 6 and y cube so this is the answer for law number 6 a number with a negative index can be expressed by using the law of indices stated here which is a power negative n is equal to 1 over a power n okay let me show an example for a let's say is 3 power negative n so it's equals to so negative okay we make it as 1 over and then 3 power n will be at the bottom as the denominator okay let's try another one for b if it's x power negative 2 okay it's equals to so negative i change it to 1 over and then x square will be at the bottom as the denominator so it's 1 over x square okay let's try another one for c so it's x power negative half so it's equals okay negative i make it 1 over and then x power half will be at the bottom okay and it's equals so x power half is actually square root of x so I change it to square root of x so the answer is 1 over square root of x for law number 7 if the index of a number is a fraction then it is known as a fractional index it can be expressed by using the law of indices stated here which is a to the power of 1 over n is equal to n root of a okay I'll show you some examples if it's 9 to the power of half means it's equals to square root of 9 which is 3 okay 
for B. Let's say if it's 27 to the power of 1 over 3. So it's equals to cube root of 27, which is equals to 3. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, let's say it's negative 125 to the power of 1 over 3. So it's equals to cube root of negative 125. And it's equals to negative 5. For law number 8, a to the power of m over n is equal to root n of a to the power of m or root n a, the whole thing, to the power of m. Let me show you some examples. 8 to the power of 2 over 3. So it's equal to cube root of 8 whole thing square. So it's equal to 2 square and it's equal to 4. Okay, let's try another one. B, 256 to the power of 3 over 4 is equals to, so I'm going to find the root 4 of 256, then the whole thing cube. So inside the bracket, the value is 4 to the power of 3. So 4 to the power of 3 is 64. Let's try another one. C. 625 to the power of 3 over 4. So it's equals. So root 4 of 625. And then the whole thing cube. So inside the bracket, the value is 5. And 5 cubed is 125. So that's the answer. For law number 9, any number to the power of 0 is 1, which means a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Let me show you some examples. So a to the power 0 is 1. Okay? If it's 1 over x to the power of 0 is also 1. If it's a, b to the power of 0 is also 1. If it's 1000, to the power of 0 is also 1. For law number 10, any number to the power of 1, you will get back the number itself. So it's a to the power of 1 is equal to a. Okay, let me show you some examples. If it's 8 to the power of 1, the answer is 8. So if it's p over q, to the power of 1, so it's equals to P over Q. If it's X, Y, to the power of 1 is equals to X, Y. If it's 32 to the power of 1, we get 32. If it's 4,500, to the power of 1, we get 4,500. Well, that's all for now. Do you wish to see more videos like this? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!